Okay, the new update next project has just been released and I'm extremely surprised at how strong many of these revamped heroes are. In this one I will be playing as Layla, and wow, let me tell you, this is probably one of the most epic games I have ever played. I would highly suggest you to watch till the end, because this might surprise you the same way I was surprised throughout the game. Layla. As you probably already know, Layla is revamped in this update, and now she is extremely strong. These are the builds and the emblem setup. In this game, I wanted to go to the side lane, but once I saw that Alice didn't want to go to the middle lane, I decided to go to the middle lane instead. It was actually a really good idea, because later on, Alice is going to be AFK. I was trying to buy the jungle item, but I forgot that in this new update, you cannot purchase the jungle item without using retribution. I will get used to it very soon. I would recommend maxing her second skill first, because her second skill will receive a cooldown reduction the more you level it up. While the first skill will only receive an increase in damage, the range and the cooldown remain the same when you level it up. Joe is going to be lagging throughout the entire game. Even with a much farm, now Layla damage in the early game is pretty damn strong. Now it's a good idea to hit the turrets in the early game, because it will give you extra gold the more damage you inflict on the turret. Remember to rotate right away once you are done clearing the wave. Quickly take a look at the map and determine which lane is better to gank. Once you accomplish your mission, keep rotating and don't waste any farm. It's all about efficiency. Our Tigre and Cho will spend a lot of time chatting. Nice. Alice is too busy farming the top lane and is not paying attention to the map and help contest the turtle. Our bottom lane is losing badly too. As you can see, we are definitely losing at the moment. But since I'm using a marksman, I know that if I keep farming and I don't mess up, I can easily turn the table around. Not that 
whiny girl anymore. Launch attack! Keep it up, Quest. Until you're as brilliant as me. Everybody makes mistakes. Looking at the map, there was a high possibility their team was probably coming to defend the turret, so I decided to retreat instead of keep pushing the middle lane. When I'm playing a marksman, I pay a lot of attention to my positioning, because usually the enemies will try to focus you first. I will reposition and wait until they are distracted with our front line, then I will keep attacking. Here you can see how Saber just want to go for me first. Honestly, I'm not sure how I'm surviving this fight. Maybe I'm finally receiving some good karma. And I heard that if you want good karma as well, you probably should hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Saber is out of position, I will try to see if I can catch him off guard. Just look at that damage. Layla just deleted Saber almost instantly. By the way, the current score is 13 to 13, and I have 12 kill participation out of 13. So that means that I cannot afford to mess up, because that will almost guarantee we are going to lose the game, or it will become extremely difficult. We wasted a lot of our skill, like the ultimate and such, so it's better to retreat and wait until we get our skills back. That's why I'm pinging to retreat.
I really like this new update. I know that many will disagree because people are just not used to changes. But I think this makes things a lot more interesting and you will see that eventually you will get used to this new update and you will see that it's not that bad. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, consider leaving a like and subscribing to the channel. Thanks.